Do you feel that? I've never felt so cold, and that's me. This place will swallow us whole if we let it. Stick close to Mama Kay. Well, yeah, I don't really like this place either. This beast didn't go down without a fight. Hmm. Let's have a look. Oh, that's a lot of food. Evening's journal are charting the journey from Atura to the Emerald Enclave, now on the road to Baldur's Gate. The oak just up and died. It started choking out of nowhere, then peeled over. We tried to pull the cart, but the ox knocked the wheel off when it ran down, and then the thing is in splinters. The others want to grab, but we cannot keep going, but this first fear was wrong. My skin is crawling like something is watching us from the darkness. No one else is talking much, but I can tell that if we are the same. Mm -hmm. By the look of it. Hmm, I don't think. belongings forsaken to the curse so that their owners could escape with their lives this place looks really cool i really like the contrast of this red and orangey like bushes and this very dry, sick, um, Don't you believe the absolute will protect you? <laughs> hey, boy! You on the bone? Fetch! Uh, that was me. <laughs> you see that black coat? Swallowed all by the shadow curse. Bet he was pure tasty. You're the true soul we're taking to Moonrise, I'm guessing. Aye, in the shallows. But the curse don't care about some itty bitty light. Once you get deeper, but don't worry, boss. We've got a guide. Talk to Kansif inside. He'll run through it. <laughs> Wait, you, you, you're joking, yeah? No, I'm not. But we're ready to go. You just need to tell Kansif inside. I'm gonna quickly say <laughs> to see who's approving it. I so started, I knew it. I mean, I'll just. I'll just go and. Uh... No. No! Ah! <laughs>
Do I have it? Good. We were told to expect you. Then pluck a tube, and our guide will come scuttling. Mm. Oh, I'm bloodless. Uh, uh. Oh, that's okay. Absolute's name. You have been charged with guiding us. New flesh for you, my queen. But who are they? Best introduce yourself. Perhaps you'll listen to her true soul. Um. I don't think he will. He looks like very scary. Talk. Faithful of the absolute, they need a guide to the tower, same as us. Your minds connect, and you hear a whispered voice the absolute, or just the echoes of his fractured mind reverberating in the dark. <laughs> a true soul, you have more worshippers every day, Majesty. eyes on his face uh. <laughs> can I be safe here as well just in case very okay. well gather the flock bless us again majesty Shine your light, protect us. Come, follow and stay close. Do not leave the light, do not feed the shadows. You heard him. Move out. They should stay closer, my queen. I am staying close. They must keep up. The shadows are hungry. I don't know about the others, to be honest, but. No, I'm... I'm... What are they doing? We thought they were true souls! Traitors! Humans! I choose that path for now. Okay. 
I guess it's not my turn yet. Oh, that's a big guy, but um Maybe I'll get to him first. You're gonna be easy to noise. I need my weapon, okay? And that was probably all of the things that I could do. Oh wait, there are more there. Didn't notice that. Oh, wolf heart spray. Oof. Jeez, okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna go to you then. Get out from the burning. good there I think miss excuse me the other guys doesn't really seem to be that useful oh what is that I guess I'm gonna rage. Yo.
cannot harm. Not even with spells. to remove this sanctuary thing from him to be honest Who was Betty? Huh. Interesting. Um. What is that? You know what I'm gonna use then? Carlac. Oh fuck. I want her to get out of the picture a little bit. Can I numb on you? Just a teeny tiny little bit. Num num num. Hit that guy. Wait, what about like this? I think this should be fine. Incredible. A light so radiant, not even the curse can dim it. The lantern flickers ever so briefly, and you hear a slight twitter. Or perhaps it's simply your imagination. You don't move a god's damn muscle. Talk. Why in the hells would a cultist turn on her kind? Mm. 
I will try to be as honest as I can. Follow me. I know a refuge from the darkness. You can rest there. Hmm. Let the lantern's light be your guide. I'll mark your map should you lose the way. Okay. Bones, rusted weapons. A great battle was fought here. What's in here? An extra vicious one, I think. No one buried their dead. Exactly the sort of battle I live to fight. And the sort made even more thrilling with a hot hearted tiefling. An extra vicious one, I think. No one buried their dead. Exactly the sort of battle I live to fight. And the sort it's this. even more thrilling with a hot hearted tiefling at my side. It's so not fair that he took the flipping weapon. If you maybe have a torch or something. A candle. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that we. I don't know how much that's gonna help, but oh well. We are not not looting anything or anyone. We are just going ahead. Look ahead. With haste. And hopefully nothing will attack us again.
Yeah. Time to press. An unfortunate. Please don't attack us. Hopefully I can reach it. I can long rest just here? That's interesting. I will definitely do that. Oh wait, what? Oh, not her again. Time's over, pet. I want to end me on Twitch. Oh, I love right. this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. What do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. Hmm. They're locked up in the cult's fortress, Moonrise Towers, and you're getting him out. Well, your playmate's wasting precious time. Let's see about getting her priorities fixed. Mm. <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. Should promised soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lemur. Oh no. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses, and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to a vernus. Great. Now, be a good boy and play fetch, pup, or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the house. I hate her. Bad perception, great. I mean, it was just a hey, are you here? But that doesn't make it as uh, unexpected, indeed. Oh, Astaria, let's put away my thing in there. Hello, darling. I've been thinking about the rooms Casador carved into my back. That fragment of a devil's contract, or whatever the hell's it is. I'm afraid that through those ruins, somehow, Cazador might still be able to dominate me. Mm. Any excuse to get my shirt off, I see. <laughs> yes. But no, I don't think another viewing will serve any purpose. I need someone with a little more expertise. Hey, Our devilish that's friend, me. Raphael. If anyone's going to know about Infernal mm, I don't think that's a good idea. He will. Um, why is my... Sound alert so late? What the... Thank you for the crab raid. That was so late. What? Usually these are pretty much on time. You like him more or less covered in blood? Mm, if it's my blood, that's okay, I guess. <laughs> no, just joking. I like him when he's less bloody. I'm still alive, pigments. <laughs> I'm just happy to play. And go with you, please. Well, we won't know until we ask now, will we? 
Unfortunately, he comes and goes in his own schedule, so we'll just have to look <laughs> out for any <laughs> sulfurous odors. The Thank you. Unfortunately, I'm not poetry. gonna rest on the weekend at all, probably. Meanwhile, I think I'll spend some time studying the art of infernal negotiations. Oh, we could study together, you know, Astoria, and I wouldn't mind. Hello, my sweet. It's not a plan yet. More a feeling. Just an itch at the back of my mind. But I know I'm missing something. Whatever Casador did to me, it was more than his usual sadism. It had purpose. Once I know what that purpose was, maybe a plan will present itself. But for now, I just need to scratch What's wrong with this my mouth? So, the thing is that... Um, it's like... I'm waking up at 5am tomorrow. At this point, like, I'm thinking I shouldn't even just go to sleep. Honestly, but um, I'm traveling home tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. with my brother and my dogs, and it's always very stressful because of the dogs. I got some um, sedatives for them. But I don't know how how good is it gonna work because it's something like uh, you need to start to give them in advance to have the effect that you want and it's like there are some types which just like sleeps their body so to speak but they still stay anxious but this um, this one that I bought is more like they just will be just like chill like they won't sleep or anything they will be just like more relaxed but I honestly don't really see any effect so far so I'm a bit worried but um, we'll see tomorrow morning I guess shadows I don't seem to be affected not as badly anyway Perhaps I shouldn't put it to the test, but compared to everyone else, I feel fine. Maybe I should Better than go with fine. you. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is sure? protecting me I mean, where others are left to face her wrath. I actually she don't know me. about Lady Shah that much. Do. You're resourceful. You'll find a way. Don't give me that look. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing that I'm resistant to the shadows. This way I can help you. Maybe I should switch you. Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. The Shadowfell, her domain, has power here. Whatever the Dark Lady needs of me, I'll wager the answer lies wherever her power is strongest. I need to find that place. See what awaits me. Mm hmm. Maybe I'm gonna switch her with um Lisa God for now. It. Why did it have to be Mizora? Why did it have to be Zariel? We're supposed to risk our necks to get one of her assets. What if it's a runaway like me? Or something far worse? Happiness is my happiness. Since when did you to get so close? Than him. But it's a bad idea to play games with the devil. You never win. Not ever. I get it. The more bullshit she pours, the more of it I'm forced to swallow. Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods. 
hope she makes a mockery of everything the blade stands for. Such an asshole. The same thought crossed my mind. I'm only to hunt the infernal, the demonic, and the heartless. But nowhere was it stated that I can't help one. Either we find it, or I'm made a mindless blob clawing at demons on the front line of the blood war. And do you guys have any plans for the weekend? And it means everything to me. I always knew what my future held, and I know I chose right. <clears throat> It said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. Hmm. I feel the weight of these horns on I my head. I love his eyes. Curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck. Not to mention a few bumps and prongs in but unmentionable places. A... But I haven't seen my reflection I guess that's fair enough. Be my fair enough. What do you see? I can't tell if you're being silly or serious. I'll accept the flattery either way. I suppose I'll grow used to the new me. Horns and all. The people will see a curiosity. Maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. But I will slay their monsters. Keep them safe. And one day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. A possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. But I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. There could well be. She has the blighted thing. What I know of it is simply what has engraved itself upon my memory. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. I think I can beat her if we put our worms together. Hmm. I'm so sorry to give you another reason to sleep restlessly, but it's my burden to bear. She won't touch you unless there's something there for her to take. Don't give her so much as an inkling there might be. Well, I don't plan to do that. Okay, so we will ask. I have a lot on my mind. Please, sir. Kindly. We must press forward. Let's deal with Kethrick. Then find Voss in Boulder's Gate. Greetings. Are you sure that's the best course of action? Conf yes, because if Shadowheart is really not impacted by the dark, then how are they? All right, some company would. We probably should take her. Doki, time to sleep. Of the absolute is Ooh, she's looking hot. I'm getting stronger. Damn. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. But it's good to see you're making progress. I want the dress like hers. You took an unexpected route here. You did a brave thing. 
saving those people in the grove. Not everyone would have helped. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. Yes, but the orders are oddly erratic, as if the Absolute cannot make up its mind. Mm. I don't fully understand. In any case, the Absolute knows you carry me with you now. It wants to retrieve me. I am the only one who can resist the Absolute's influence. Hence its fear of me, its... its desperation. Unfortunately, that also means it is dedicating more and more resources to my retrieval. The task ahead is monumental, but we're all that stands between victory for the Absolute and freedom for all. This is not just about you and I anymore. It has become far bigger than us. Yeah, I can see that. Infiltrate Moonrise Towers, discover the secrets of the Absolute, and put an end to it. So we can finally be free. Now I must rest. And you must carry on. Do not let my efforts be in vain. forward and keep your hands off your weapons easy she helped us out in the shadows come jahira the others are left out <laughs> oh who is she i think if you were to have the radicals reads we had to fight the teeth things. Huh. Interesting. You have me at a disadvantage. Let me correct that. Kindness is too often a decoy. Hmm. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... It's that it knows its own kind. Okay, this is not advice, the others! Not where the others not here! You should never have come here, true soul. who protected the Emerald Grove. Yup. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Saved one of my friends from a druid with a snake. Knows when to be discreet too. I'd pretty much trust her with my life. Oh, I don't even know who you are. How is that possible?
Oh my god. What in the hell is that thing? Congratulations. You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers. All clear. At ease. I want her to trust I'll not me. Pretend to understand what that artifact is. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me, why have you come here? I want to see my characters on this screen. I'm here on holiday. <laughs> then you found an ally in me. For that is precisely why I am here. There's food in the inn over there. Beds too, if you require rest. Aloe oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Salmon might be knocking around here, right? No time to rest. Let them ready. Let's get on with it. On with that. Like, talk with her? Is she gonna explode now? Oh my god, soldier. That's Jahira. The Jahira. Don't you know the whole story? Years ago, over a century, Jahira was part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a ball sport trying to plunge the city into war. My mum used Is that to in the previous games? The legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid, adamant, tough. I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero, and I was always some outer city kid. Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working together. What a day! <laughs> mm. Same. What's up for discussion? Hey, that's close enough. Artifact or no, I don't like the likes of you crashing our party. Give it oh a my rest, God. Alfred. We need all the God's damned help we can get. You got a name? Daisy Dewdrop Fluffing. <laughs> Good. Wouldn't want to get it wrong in your eulogy. Shut up. And you keep <laughs> walking. Come at me, bro. Isn't there another blacksmith who could help me? <gasps> Chopek. Chopek. Look. Uh -huh. Thought I sensed an infernal. What are you doing here? Same thing as you, I reckon. Trying to stay out of the shadows. <coughs> Hold on. Let's I go. Know you. The weaponsmith, right? Drafted into the blood war when your city was swallowed by Avernus. Not too different from my own story. Sorry for the squeaking. Maybe my life. theater theater did out. Same to anyway. you. Though unless my senses deceive me. You brought a bit of the hells back with you. Infernal engine? Who needs a heart when you've got one of these to keep you warm? <laughs> Thank you, Zariel. Forget warm. You're burning up. Might be burning out a piston ring. Or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? 
No more, do. fix her, please. Go ahead, I've been please. Dying to find an infernal mechanic. Literally. Now that's hot. Too hot. I think I could sort you out. I have I some infernal iron and a lot infernal of iron. I have three. Hey soldier, we've got some infernal iron already. Let's give it to him. Yes, eh? yes, yes. I collected it for you. Please let this work. Please. Mm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. Oh, Can I'm so glad I have a second chance to be? save her. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. Oh my god. Oh. Best thing that happened today, honestly. <laughs> Saving Garland. There. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of heat. Oh, I kind of would have wanted to see this, but... I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less changeable. Cheers, mate. Pleasure. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Let me sleep on it. I just might be able to work something out. Hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. I'll need more infernal iron either way, though. So well, keep your eyes open. That's a problem. Take care. Did he take all of the infern- Oh, oh, I have- Okay, I'm good, man. We are good. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Bring it on. Oh, I love her so much. I'm gonna romance her the next time. I love her. Alright. What now? Let's talk to right, Jahedo. Well. Don't wander far. Please. Be welcome. Have a drink. Oh my god. <laughs> she is like I can't use the word I think anymore on Twitch, but she's she she really likes her. If you know what I mean. Why did I do that? Oh, I'm just drinking. <laughs> Wasting my inspiration. Oh, whatever. That's kind of sus that it, I got eight. You perceive five. inviting hints of cedarwood and blackberry. Nothing out of the ordinary. I assure you, it's quite safe. Bottoms up. Everyone else disapproves other than Carla. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost. Oh, how are we gonna flavor. bang like this? Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. As an air about you, something alien. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you. Isn't it? You want to deny the parasite has any sort of hold on you, but somehow you can't. Jahira spots your confusion. 
and her eyes narrow. It's the one. Oh, I added a herb to your cup that betrays your lie. Shit. Okay, we restarting. Look around you. <laughs> good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. Whoopsie. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? Good. Because I'll cross your heart myself if you break it. I have oh, a I believe to you. be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. Oh? It seems likely, which means he isn't working alone. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Catherick Thorne live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here. Commanding an army of the Absolute, intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself. Only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless. But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Catherick is without his shield, the sword, Together, we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Without a cure for your infection, your days are numbered too. Yet you selflessly offer to spend them fighting alongside us. I like you. Oh, thank you. I At promise least I will do everything I can to make sure you survive this. Oh, it Any looks so cute. cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at Moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. Okay. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell what her are I you sent doing, you, though? and she'll see you through the shadows safely. If not over, then through. Okay. There is work to do. Oh, <laughs> Let's hmm. try this way. Look at him in the background. <laughs> I'm glad I fetched that outfit. Uh. Oh, she's getting power from the moon. He looks so pretty. Oh no. I didn't realize I had an audience. Uh, 
and a Sharon one at that. Not as ancient as you think. Frankly, I'm surprised you're willing to help us. Your kind aren't known for their decency, particularly when a Sharon curse is our greatest obstacle. But if you are who I think you are, I'd be a fool to reject your help. The true soul with, well, a soul. Imagine. And that's what makes you essential. You'll be needing the protection spell, I presume. For now, perhaps. But Shah can be fickle, and her love can prove fleeting. Do not turn your back on an advantage you may need, even a Salunite one. If Do you want to know? It can aid in so companions badly. who travel with you. Somehow, I doubt Shah's largesse was extended These to them. Two stories. Thank you for the crap <laughs> Oh. Well, what is happening? If the moon maiden didn't strike me dead for blessing you, she must rather approve of this little alliance. This will block the lesser effects of the shadow curse, allowing you to traverse the darkness outside. Should Shah's own protection falter, that is. It won't be enough to protect you against the areas of utter darkness, though, where the curse is strongest. This lantern should, though. It's so pretty. Like the light is so magical. Curious. Surely the Night Singer could have shielded all her followers and made this place her domain long ago. Yet she only acts now and aids you alone. I wonder why. I suppose Shar is nothing if not mysterious. I I'll like Isabel. You, though. you have more important things to do, after all. Good luck. And may the Moon Maiden protect you. If you can stand it. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. For what? what? Who is that? Why does he have some scary wings? <sighs> Hello, Isabel. Marcus, is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Catherick himself. You know, your ring looks kinda. True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick, alive. Hmm. Okay, hopefully I can roll more than six. Everyone is making the same face. I didn't even notice that before. It's so funny. Nothing is more important than bringing the girl alive. What's going on? If you have something to say, say it. Pathetic. The absolute sees all. Your treachery will be punished. The absolute. Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. <laughs> he already has. Time to go, Isabel. Mm. Oh boy. What on earth are those creatures?
<gasps> no, not the kiddo. 